Hey guys, this is Tom Box. Good morning to all of you guys as well. And today, for our bandless initial reaction, what we're gonna be doing is a bandless bingo. This is my prediction versus the actual bandless, and we're gonna see how accurate I was or inaccurate. But the only reason why I actually opened it is because I saw Eve, like Eva and Protos, and that's how we're gonna start this recording. But don't worry, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to MSC.TV for the damage report coming up to see what is going to be on top and what is going to fall below, and what are the combo lines that are no longer available. That's what I'm gonna hear be here talking about. Uh, anyways, let's get started here. Starting with the Protos walking VFD Junior. Six card searchable, revivable, acts as a regeki against your opponent as well. It's ridiculously strong, wins against dark matchups, too easy, predictable. And uh, it only had one format to play. Yeah, but the card came out in Eternity Code in 2020. It's like two years now, so it's never safe. Expired, man, it's expired. Eva has been put to zero. I told you guys Drytron players were going to take a hit. And that was the card that I called. You guys can go go ahead and check out the old video. And uh, I'm not editing this thing at all. This is just the old resource I left up. Uh, Eva hit. You guys called with a wish list. I said it was going to happen. And it did. And we'll see if I got any more. Or maybe I'm just completely wrong. I don't see Artifact Scythe. So we're still getting Scythe locked for sure. That's still available. Unless they hit Artifact Dagda. If they hit Dagda. Oh my god. Scrolling down. I, I want to see it now. Uh, but okay. Eva taking hit. So... You're like, Drytrons aren't doing anything. Well, Drytron players went to become Sword Soul players. If Drytron's better, they'll go back to being Drytron players. And uh, then the format won't change. But changing Eva will force people to play Megalith if they want to cycle their Benton. They'll have to play Herald of Perfection to use pre-prep to use the Dawn of the Herald to get your Benton back. And that's where it's crucial. That's where you can actually load up your hand with fairies. And you won't be playing Ultimateness as much. Well, you can still play it, but uh, it's definitely going to be harder to load your hand for sure. Next, let's go down. So, okay, Apcolone didn't get hit. And also for Eva, a structured deck card can get completely banned, apparently. Uh, no Apcolone, so we're still getting Windelock. Windows not even here either, so Windelock is still pretty much a thing. Oh, some more, another hit, some more of the Bird of Sovereignty. This has been the card that has been like a bane for most of the people playing against Tri Brigade, is that they get the Apex Avian out at the end, or the Barrier Statue. That completely cripples out most strategy. Anyone would want to counter them with, they can't Special Summon, and they can't activate cards, and once per turn, it turns the Apex Avian into a once per turn. That was really poorly worded. We're going to leave the cut in. Because we're not editing this one. This is a raw take after all. Some more gone. That's a bird up hit for sure. I thought they were going to also maybe hit it between like Recital Starling. But it seems like Samorg was the right choice. Um, yeah, th yeah. They didn't ban <laughs> Lyralusk. Uh, oh, another hit. I told you. Okay, 100%. I'm going to be super petty about this. But I am going into the comments section. <laughs> and I'm going to screenshot everyone that said Imperial Order wasn't going to get hit. I'm 100% going to do that. That's... Yeah, and you guys called it a wish list. Well, guess what? Four out of four out of eight predictions here were hit. So, and these are all the correct band. They weren't even in the wrong slot. They were like in the right spot. So I'm pretty sure this is uh, as solid as it gets. You guys know, I know the inside details, guys. I know it. I just know it. Uh, okay, I put Fusion Destiny here. I know Fusion Destiny. It's kind of like um, Protos. It came out like way older. Will they touch it? Is it a problem? Is it like an indirect, you know, omen for DPE? We'll get to it right now. But okay, you guys didn't get Monkey Board. I think Monkey Board. Yes, I, I glad. Like I saw Monkey Board still banned. But you guys got something better. You guys got Astrograph. Who cares about Monkey Board at this point? Astrograph is infinitely better. Oh my God, I should have guessed it. I can't guess that. I, I really thought that card was really just too broken. But here, here we are. Uh, a win for Trip. Trip must be like just jumping to the ceiling now. We must be like going like crazy I'm trying to keep it pg here even <laughs> in a raw take um then there is fusion destiny maybe we'll see it i hope uh so that we will limit it down i didn't see like credit plan for tanaconda so i'm hoping that the like that car gets hit uh destrudo wow they're just returning a lot of god snow as well calling it now thunder dragon engine is going to be played as an engine card to spam out bodies to play like a link board or something like that and you can have like destrudo uh dragon link can synchro even faster than ever Lunar Light Tiger. Okay. Wait, this is loopable. Okay, maybe we still play Cosmic Cyclone because we still have to do a Scythe, Lunar Light Tiger. Maybe we'll be able to like cycle it off and that will be the end of that. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, ugh, ugh, nothing here. Oh, Recital Starling. Okay, I was wrong. Recital Starling or um, Simorg. It's not or, it's and. They decided to hit both. And I feel bad for the Lyralist players, the pure ones especially, because... 
your recovery card, your recovery line is gone. Uh, what else we got? Monster Gate? I don't get why Monster Gate is here. Why is Monster Gate here? Is, is, are Sword Soul people using the token to just get up more Sword Soul? Ooh, actually, yeah, that, that sounds kind of legit. <laughs> but, we, but like, we'll see. Uh, one for one is... No, that's not one. Pot of Desires! Okay, Grand Maju, guys, you didn't just get snow but you also lost two pots i'm guessing swords will abuse this a little bit too much made changing a little bit too big uh but i did not actually see this coming I, at all i i thought they were fine but okay there's two one of two things is going to happen to sword soul one they're going to switch out pot of desires and play the dpe variant which is completely fine i think it's actually a pretty good one like playing pure doesn't doesn't seem to make too too much sense actually it's still fine you're just losing what pot of desires like I think your deck right now just goes straight to 40 because most of you guys are playing 42, 43. So just take out two pots and you're done. You can just keep playing your same deck. It doesn't change anything. Uh, okay, okay, well, that's fine. And you won't pot into another pot. So huh, maybe it was a secret buff in, in, in disguise. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just like in denial right now. But uh, I think people might jump to like playing DPE variants. Uh, especially when take out the two pots, put it into two fusion destinies and we're good to go, right? <laughs> Next, oh, so, semi-limited is kind of interesting. It's all a bunch of spell cards, but we're getting uh, some releases and some slap in the face. Uh, releasing, we got Hero Lives. I think Destrudo and Hero Lives are having life points. I think that's for, like, Dynamorpheus to kind of maybe merge in together. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just taking a wild, wild guess in the dark. Fusion Destiny. Okay, Fusion Destiny. Half a point. Half a point for the Fusion Destiny. It was touched, just not in the way. So, I'm guessing one more list, and it's going to get limited if it still gets abused. That's my thoughts on it. And let's see, Nadir Servant. Okay, this one is a slap on the wrist. I mean, Apcolon's still there. You're still going to continue to do your, your locking uh, with Winda. And uh, yeah, anyone that can summon on Alistair is just going to continue to do so. I don't think anything changes. They're just giving you guys more less consistency, but not entirely just shutting it out. Uh, we have Salamran Great Circle. Okay, Scapegoat. I feel like they're actually listening to us when it comes to this particular ban list because like a lot of these things that were mentioned like all over the place with a lot of uh, this list is huge. And then there's also Danger Nessie and the unlimited stuff. Okay, so Grand Maju players shove out the two pots, one Danger Nessie, one Snow, and wow, you're good to go. Uh, Skullcrabat Joker and E Tell you both were called. Yes. Wow, this is scary. Well, this these are easy. Like usually the release stuff is a little bit easier. And uh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, um, I don't really care. Um, whatever, it's just like, oh, I guess it's consistent if you can play three of it, if you want to. I mean, do you want to play three of it? You have to banish a card to summon it. And it's also like hard once per turn. Raigeki and Skill Drain. Okay, Raigeki, just, you know, just nuke the board. Cool, cool, like triple dark hole. That's, that's fine, but I might try it inside, to be honest. But Skill Drain! Like, Eldritch players, like, Christmas came early. Because you can now just, like, play Skill Drain Eldritch. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is super good. <laughs> Need Jinzo or something. I don't know. I, I feel a little conflicted about this. But, in fact, I don't even think it's just Eldritch. I think I would personally use this. Like, I'd use it like an IO, to be honest. I use it like Imperial Order. Like, I'll build up my board and make it really big. You Dark Ruler me or something like that. I flip Skill Dream back on you. I feel like there's a potential. If, if my board is already really, really big, and I have some monsters that are pretty, like, floaty, I'll flip Skill Dream. And what are you going to do? And Skill Dream at three? I might consider this in a side deck. Like, at the very least. There's a lot to consider for this Skill Dream card. Holy, what a big list. You guys are asking for big change. Big change happened. No oh, man. I'm just, like, breathing way too much. In terms of my prediction, though, wow, the bands, I got, I got all the bands. <laughs> all the bands are hit. Well, it's not like I shoved, like, a bajillion cards. I shoved particular cards in here that I thought was going to get hit, and they did get hit, and the IO, for sure, like, the context, of course, is they will always try to fix the game, regardless of what you guys say. Like, it's just, something doesn't work in the past, doesn't, and they made it, they're not that proud to leave their product, you know, in a mess. They are going to fix it, which is great because this this list feels like Konami's actually listening to us, for the most part, except for the scythe. Scythe still being here, really. Guys, pick up your cosmic cyclones into your deck. 
And uh, you know what? This is done. I'll see you guys in the next one, which is probably going to be the damage report. And uh, man, I've got a lot to read. So I'll see you guys very soon.